Picture this. The year is 1860, and a ship unlike any other is about to revolutionize naval warfare. The HMS Warrior, Britain's first ocean-going ironclad warship, is launched. A true marvel of engineering. But was she the first ironclad to rule the seas? Contrary to popular belief, Warrior wasn't the first ironclad. That honor goes to the French ship Gloire in 1859, and even earlier, iron-armored floating batteries made their debut during the Crimean War. Yet Warrior stood apart. At 420 feet long and powered by a 5,772 horsepower steam engine, she was the fastest most powerful warship of her time. Equipped with a fearsome arsenal of smoothbore cannons and rifled breechloaders, Warrior could fire molten iron core projectiles over 3,000 yards. Her iron hull, lighter than wood, allowed for speed and maneuverability that left other warships in her wake. Although Warrior never saw combat, and was obsolete by 1871, her legacy endured. From serving as an oil hulk during World War II to being restored as a museum ship in Portsmouth, Warrior symbolizes a turning point in naval innovation. Today, she stands as a testament to human ingenuity and a glimpse into the dawn of modern naval warfare.